Welcome to our series of videos on ImageLine's GrossBeat. In this video, and videos to follow, we'll cover what GrossBeat is and how to put it to use. In this first video, we are going to give a brief introduction to the Effect plugin, as well as an overview of the interface. We'll go into further explanation of each section we look at here, more in depth, in the relative videos. For those that may not have used GrossBeat, you may be asking yourself, just what is GrossBeat? It is definitely an effect unlike others. GrossBeat is a time-based effect plugin that is used to alter the timing of the audio that it is inserted into. To give a better description, GrossBeat can be compared to how a DJ may use the turntables and his or her fingers to alter the timing of the beat. For example, a DJ will often pull back a record if they are looking to repeat a portion of the audio that has just played. It is this theory that GrossBeat is based on. As mentioned in this first video, we are going to have a brief look at the interface and give a general description of what each section does, and we'll cover each section more in depth later on. To the far left hand side of the plugin, there are two main areas that can be altered by GrossBeat, the time and the volume. From here, you will select which item you wish to edit in the main editor. Which brings us to the main editor. The right side of the interface is the main editor. It is here that you will edit the timing and volume settings that GrossBeat can alter. The time wheel that is placed between the time selector and the editor allows you to perform time alterations in real time by clicking and dragging, again much like a DJ would do when working with turntables. Along the left hand side of the editor, there are a few icons that will allow you to use snapping when editing in the editor, which could help ensure that your edits match the tempo and time signature of your project, as well as some further editing tweaks such as step editor that allows you to draw edits with ease. We'll take a closer look at these edit options in later videos. In the time and volume sections, you have a table of presets that will allow you to quickly change the time and volume settings from one pattern to another. Of course, we'll look more at this in later videos as well. Along the bottom, there are also a few parameters that will allow you to further customize the mapping in the time and volume editors. Use the time and volume knobs to control the mix between the wet and dry levels for each section. There are a few envelope controls in the volume section that allow you to control the smoothness of the volume changes. So, in this video we have a basic introduction to what GrossBeat is, as well as a quick overview of the interface. In the following videos, we'll begin our look at working with GrossBeat. So, in the next video, we'll look at working with the table of presets for both time and volume sections.